Hello everybody, Marcel Hardinger here, and this is my channel Marcel Harding Art. Welcome to my channel. Now today I thought I'd do a video on how I mix my reds and yellows. Now I use permanent alizarin, which is a dark red, we'll get into that soon. And I use cabin yellow light. And uh, I use five colors only on my palette, it's all I ever use. Um, titanium white, cabin yellow light, permanent alizarin, ultramarine blue, and burned umber. Um, only colors I use. I don't use black because I mix black with 6% blue and 40% burnt umber. Now red and yellow are primary colors along with blue. Yellow, red and blue they're three primary colors so you can't make those colors but I'm going to show you how I mix different colors. Now for the red I only use a look permanent alizarin crimson and the reason for that is because when I want a red, I usually want a darker red, and permanent and crimson is a darker red. But the good thing about it is that not only is it a darker red, it's slipping off the page here. Not only is it a darker red, it's a bright darker red, which is ideal for what I really want. Um, a lot of dark reds, they're, they're just not bright enough and dark enough, and it's a dark bright color, and you can mix it with, with anything. It makes a great purple, it makes a great pink, and I'm going to show you different ways I mix this red. As it is, as you can see, it's a it's a it's a dark red, but it's a it's a very beautiful luminous type of red, as you can see. Um, now, if I wanted to make that red a bit um, a bit more lighter color, I add a bit of I add a bit of yellow to it, and as you can see, it's a lot. Um, this red here. It's a lot compared to this one right here. I added a little bit of yellow to make it a lot uh, brighter red, like a like a cadmium red medium, and it's ideal for that. So you don't have to buy a tube of cadmium medium red. The thing about cadmium medium red is that you you can't really darken it that much. With this one here, if I wanted to darken it, I just use a little bit of burn number. and as you see. Just keep adding a bit more as your time, just a little bit more. And that's a really good dark red. Ideal if you want to darken the red. If you want to make an orange, simply add a, a bit more yellow. And it makes a it actually makes a really good orange. Um it makes a really nice orange. And if I wanted to make a, a purple. I simply add blue to it and it makes a really nice uh, purple add a bit of white you can see how and that's a really nice purple beautiful purple and it's a, a lovely color and that's how I mix a lot of my red so you got the red here you lighten it with a bit of yellow you can darken it with burnt umber you can make orange makes it makes a beautiful purple and of course, if you want to make a pink out of it, you just add white, and it makes a pretty good pink. Makes a really nice pink. Now I'll get onto the yellow in a second. Now the yellow I use kept me yellow light. Now the reason why I use light is because Cadmium yellow by itself is a powerful color, and it's um, you can't mix yellow. It's a cadmium, it's a primary color. But I use cadmium yellow light because it's perfect. Because um, cadmium yellow by itself is too powerful, and you can't you try and add white to it to lighten it. It doesn't seem to work. Uh, quite often, it's just too powerful. And uh, as you see by itself, it's a really nice color. But if you wanted, if you did by chance want to uh, make it. A little more um, yellow, a little more brighter yellow. I use I use a little bit of lizard crimson, and as you can see, that's by adding a little bit of lizard crimson to the yellow, it, it looks it's equivalent to cadmium yellow medium, which is pretty cool. I really like cadmium yellow light, and uh, it's a fantastic color. And if I want to if I want to darken it a little bit. I use I use brown to darken the yellow to make it more of a mauve kind of yellow as you can see 
and it makes uh, it makes a fabulous green too, by the way. Um, yellow can be, can be yellow light plus uh, ultramarine blue make a fabulous green. As you can see, the green is fantastic. I just love the green on it. And if you want to make it more mauve-like, I simply add a bit of white to it. And it makes it uh, it makes it more more of like which is really cool i mean kevin yellow light is a great color and i love it it's a fantastic color i really like it and you can experiment you can try let's try a little bit of lizard and crimson to it and just see what what i get out of it it makes orange it makes a beautiful orange if you add a lizard and crimson to it fantastic orange i mean you've got different shades here Makes a nice orange. And it really is a great color. I mean, if you want to make it a, a darker green, just keep adding blue. And what I do is I add a little bit of burnt umber to it. And you can see it makes it a, a lot darker green if you want to have a darker green like that. And this is the top, this is what I use for yellow. And I only use uh, Cabin Yellow Light and Permanent Lizard Crimson. They're the only colors I use. And uh, this is how I get, mix my yellows, because yellow and blue are uh, red, are a primary color. But of course, this is how I get my, this is the only reds I use as, as uh, Permanent Lizard Crimson. And the only yellow I use is Cabin Yellow Light, because that's all I need. If I wanted the red to be more lighter reddish, I add a little bit of yellow to it. Um, it's a good red permanent crimson is a good dark red and coming yellow light is a really good yellow for uh for, for mixing with greens this is what i use it um you could use cape yellow medium for for adding to making green but i don't like how the green comes out and cadmium uh yellow cadmium uh red it's it's too strong and powerful so i use a lizard crimson and a lizard crimson is also a um transparent color and it's brilliant for mixing and it's also good for glazing permanent lizard and crimson it's brilliant for glazing because it's transparent any color that's transparent is brilliant for glazing um as long as you thin it down with um something like clear painting medium to thin it down it's brilliant for glazing and this is the how i set it how i do my reds and yellows so if you like this video like share subscribe and bang that bell i'll catch you guys later